I am Vernon, and this is Faith Support. To anyone who drives a vehicle, please allow me to pose a couple of questions. How low do you allow your gas supply to go before you refuel? Or have you ever run out of gas or nearly out of gas even after the warning signals on the panel were clearly on display? In a survey given to a number of drivers who had such an experience, the top three responses were as follows. One, too busy to pause for refueling, even though they were passing a number of service stations along their route. Two, lack of attention to the gas gauge, the minds being so preoccupied with a myriad of other activities. Three, procrastination because they thought there was enough gas to get them to their desired destination. Today, we live in a society where we seem to be always in a rush. For example, early in the morning, we find ourselves rushing out of bed, rushing to get ready, rushing to have breakfast, rushing to leave the house at a set time, rushing to beat the traffic, rushing to meet deadlines and appointments before rushing back home to flop into bed, totally drained physically as well as emotionally. Unfortunately, our supply of spiritual energy could also be negatively impacted if refueling is not done in a timely manner. How then can you and I ensure that we are maintaining the necessary supply of the Lord's sustaining power to successfully navigate the busy highways of life's journey? In the book of Isaiah, chapter 40, verse 31, we read, But those who wait on the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar with wings like eagles, they will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. Four blessings await if time is taken to wait on the Lord in response to his invitation. It is a wonderful opportunity while we are waiting to reflect on the greatness of God, his goodness, as well as his grace bestowed upon us. One, two, to renew a relationship with him, recognizing that the more time spent in his presence, the better would be the understanding of his plan for our lives. We find also while we wait, it's a time to replenish spiritually through prayer and the perusal of God's word, thus providing sustenance to our relationship with him. And finally, while we wait to rejoice in an attitude of gratitude not only for the blessings received but even more importantly for the reassuring promise that because of waiting on him there is a blessing of being so holy ghost energized we can now soar with wings like eagles run and not grow weary walk and not be faint May this be our experience to enjoy today. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Let us pray. Thank you, dear Lord, for the privilege of pausing a little longer in your presence. Thanks even more so for the invitation to have that personal relationship with you. May God keep you. May God fill you as you wait on him each day with the promised Holy Spirit to guide as well as to bless. And we will be mindful, dear Father, to give you all the praise, the love, the honor, and the glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.